Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. Oh yeah! <laughs> so we are doing your Celtic Cross and your astrology here. So we're going to do your sun sign first. So let's pick up on Aquarius, please, Spirit. And what is their sun sign, please? What is there know about themselves or is this how you see yourself? The wear the mask you wear, if you wear any. Ooh, there's some big change that you've had about yourself here. Aquarius. Oh, you may have been lying to yourself here. And you're healing something. So whatever lie you've been telling yourself, you are healing that. There is a huge change here. I feel like this is about time. <laughs> it's about time is what I'm feeling. Like this has been a long time coming. You may have had somebody in your energy that has made you feel a certain type of way. And you may have been lying to yourself about this. Now, good or bad, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Maybe there's a lost love you are thinking about that you haven't moved towards. Maybe you're lying to yourself about how you actually feel about that person. Or it could be somebody that's in your energy right now that you've been lying to yourself about that maybe they're not good for you that's in your energy and maybe they make you feel a certain type of way about yourself i feel like whatever it is that you are actually starting to see the truth about whatever this is and healing your inner self so you may be taking the time to do the baggage you're not carrying that luggage with you uh, from relationship to relationship you're actually healing that you're looking at your truth you're going within you are doing the shadow work and healing this is this is a tower moment this is a huge upheaval this is something that is really big being a Arcana, Arcana card here. So like, this is Mars. This is sudden, okay? This is maybe even an awakening here. Accepting some type of change. It's a breakthrough. I feel like it's a mental clarity here. Oh, we got another card here that came out. What? Wow, and this is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. This, all this healing, you're going to end up having such a beautiful blessing once you are finished. You've finally seen the truth or know the truth and are healing something within yourself. You might even have had to walk away from somebody in particular in your life. Maybe you've found something out but whatever it is whatever truth you know or whether you've been lying to yourself or others have lied to you whatever it is you are seeing that truth and healing that you're going to get 10 of pentacles that's the best, one of the best cards in the deck <laughs> wow what's your emotions your moon Woo. okay aha Emotions, you are trying to balance your emotions here. There might be standing out for yourself. You're ready to fight for what you believe in. You're charging ahead. This is passionate. This is action. This is inspired action. This is courage, maybe even adventure here. This is balancing out that light and dark side within yourself. You're doing the work. It's right here. Wow. Justice. This is big. This is a major arcana. So this is this is no light matter. This is something that took a lot for you to do. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> Good for you, Aquarius. You're on the right, right road here, I feel. 
I feel like you are awakening. You're you're waking up. It's like a light that goes on and it goes click and it's like, oh, I can see now. <laughs> and you can see so much more than you ever could before. What's your what's your rising sign? How do other people see you? Oh, a wounded warrior. So, I feel like something may have wounded you in the past here. Maybe uh, quite a few times you've got a wall up here with all these wands. I feel like you've patched yourself up here quite a few times to try to make it through, but you've never given up. You've always done what needed to be done despite what's happened to you. Now with the Four of, of Cups here, I kind of feel like you may have um, felt like you missed something here. Some lack of some sort like you're dissatisfied about something here let's find out what people might see that you have been hurt before or you've been through it before they might see that you're missing out on something or you feel like you are what is this about spirit what is other people seeing oh the Nine of Cups. Okay. This is satisfaction. Will Wish fulfillment. You feel like you're missing out on your wish fulfillment. Something that you've wished for or always wanted here. This is something you've been waiting for or been wanting to do that you just haven't done up until now. This is about going after whatever it is that I keep getting this long lost love somebody that you loved or still love this is about maybe making the wrong decision of some sort I'm feeling like this is about achievement of, and I feel like with the four ahead of that there it, this is kind of telling me you you feel like you missed out on something here that would have been your miss your your wish fulfillment, something you were wanting. People might see you that you're still plowing ahead, still wanting something that you just maybe didn't go after or it didn't work out or something here. What's your Mercury? How do you think here? What is it you're thinking about here? Oh, a cup of love. I knew it had to be a long lost love. <laughs> we have the Knight of Cups. And this is somebody that is a, a romantic, a heartfelt romance, a charming, that creative offer that loves the idea of love. This is an offer or proposal here. Whoa, this is what you're thinking about. There is somebody that you're thinking about. Yes, you're doing, you're going within here with the hermit. You're doing the introspects. You might be on your own right now, healing yourself in order to come forward with this love offer. What's the Chiron? What's your, how are you healing right now? Oh, what are you healing? Oh, you're, <laughs> This could be a burden to you. It could be this person that you wanted to be with here is started a business here. Maybe and you're feeling like you missed out on that. That you may were supposed to be a part of that. Yeah, you're having anxiety and this is a burden on you. Maybe you wanted to start your own business here. Maybe this healing is going to get you to start your own business. But this, whatever this is, whether it's you or someone else, take it how it resonates. It's a burden to you and it's causing you a, a lot of anxiety. Some, this could be this person I'm picking up on in your energy here, this long lost love. 
I feel like it could be them doing really well and you're kicking yourself for not going sooner or something <laughs> along those lines. Take it out, it resonates. Oh, this one wants to come. Look at that. The Page of Pentacles. No, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, okay. And this is about wanting to charge ahead here. So <laughs> this is taking action, that inspired action. That courage and adventure. Maybe to offer your long lost love something here. Not just a cup of love, but maybe to help out with the business or get into the business with this person. Or maybe this is a leg up to get you on your business, to, to start your own business. Hmm. Maybe you're going to get some type of gift where it's going to help you get your business. Maybe someone in your family is going to give you money to start a business. Take it how it resonates, okay? Let's look at your love, your Venus. What is your love like? How do you love? What's your Venus? Aquarius. Wow, oh, you're a looker. King of Wands. Okay. Oh, and you might be somebody's 10th cup here. Somebody's been patiently waiting for you to take that action, I feel. Maybe you had to walk away from somebody first here. You needed to heal something. Something that was tragic, I feel, really had you worried here. Wow. You got that swagger, swagger. And I kind of feel like whoever this is, they might be an earth angel here. Aquarius, this is somebody that's patient in the flow and progressing with something here. Healing something. Or you could be wanting to heal. Maybe you want to give your 10th cup to this person. But this is your Venus. This is love. Wow. And this is the now. So I feel like whatever healing you're doing, I feel like there might be still somebody in your energy right now that might be causing you these burdens and this anxiety. Maybe somebody that has money. Maybe you have your own money. But whatever it is, I mean, take it how it resonates for your love here. And if you're, it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine, this King of Wands is somebody that is a visionary, okay? Somebody that's ambitious and respected and a leader, has some type of authority or comes across that way. They got their life together here. They're looking at wanting a family here. I feel like this is maybe, maybe you're everybody's dream person. Maybe you're a really good person. And your people know that about you. They respect you. They know what you're about. What's your Mars? How do you deal with life right now? How are you dealing with your life right now? Oh, okay. You're adapting and you're getting a victory here. <laughs> Putting up boundaries. I'm feeling that. <laughs> I'm feeling that um, it's about time again. Like, <laughs> like, damn, it took you a long time to get these boundaries up. And it might have been a particular person that was really got you in your head here and this person I'm feeling really took advantage of you maybe you were really generous with this person with your time your love or your money or all three and I feel like you're adapting now you're healing this stuff you're gonna get a victory here and you are gonna have your boundaries in place you're gonna stand up for what you want or what you believe in okay this is how you're dealing with life right now. And with that two of pentacles, like 
that is balanced. That's like, um, I feel like multiple priorities or a financial opportunity. You might be multitasking and you're adapting to something here to have a win with the six of wands. Yeah, damn, that's a victory. That could be recognition. This is like having no doubt in your mind. This is what you want. An honest discussion maybe with somebody here. Maybe that long lost love. <laughs> All right. Let's look at your self-love, your series here. Let's look at your series. Wow, dang. You are on top. You're showing up as the king of pentacles. Okay, and this is all just energy. You could be in your masculine side right now. We all have a masculine and a feminine side, right? We have the softer side, and then we have our, our tougher exterior, right? And whether you're a woman or a man, you are showing up in your masculine side here. You're showing up wearing the pants, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. <laughs> you have the power. <laughs> You have that abundance, that discipline, that smarts to make that wealth, right? So this has to do with your self-love. You're mastering this. You're getting good at your self-love. You're, you're giving to yourself. You're not giving it all away to someone else. Can I get something else for self-love? Yeah, see, you may have been really sad at one point here, mourning a loss. You were maybe feeling loss or having sadness. It could be that emotional baggage you're healing here. Okay, I keep getting that. It's about time. <laughs> I feel like you're a bit of a lone wolf here. You, <laughs> you know, you, you kind of just do your thing and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So I, I'm hoping that this is ringing true for somebody here because I'm really feeling good about your self-love. I mean, you may have your moments where um, you need to cry about things and that is part of that healing self-love process knowing your worth, realizing that you're you. So don't be so hard on yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody learns. As long as you're learning from your mistakes, you know, I mean, you might have to do the same mistake over and over and over again. And if you feel like you're in that karmic cycle, nothing's changing, you're in the same thing over and over, something's you're in a karmic cycle that may be not your person so if you're settling with somebody that you're not passionate about this isn't your love of your life that you're you know and there's somebody you're thinking about that's not the person you're with then you've settled <laughs> it's plain and simple so don't settle just for mediocre when you could have that love of your life that maybe you just never pursued or never went after or didn't feel like they were gonna take you back. If you never go after them, you'll never know, right? It's like you don't know what you're good at unless you try different things, right? So same with eating things. If you never try different foods, you never know if you're gonna like it or not. So, <laughs> and I like food, so. <laughs> What's your Jupiter luck here? What's your Jupiter? Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I, 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 I. We got quite the story. <laughs> I love this for you. Now you're going to go, what? But the Queen of Swords, okay. This is about being smart with your luck or your money okay so i feel like you're getting something coming in here you're powerful independent right you're determined you're 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 going through change or you're changing things you're able to cut people out that no longer belong in your life okay you're doing the healing with the star card okay 
you're going after that wish fulfillment or you're at least looking over what you truly desire, what your heart's desire is. I feel like you're using your heart over your mind and that finally, <laughs> how about time? Like you're really, it's nobody else's dream, it's your dream. This is your thing that you want. You are planting the seeds, the good seeds for this to come in, okay? I feel like whatever this is, it's a secret. This death card is Scorpio. It, it's about secrets for me. This is about Scorpio. Um, this is usually about endings that bring new beginnings. One door closes for a new door to open. This is change and rebirth. This is transforming, right? Maybe something has to end for these new seats to come in. Or this to me is kind of telling me it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Maybe you win the lottery. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Whatever happens for your luck, it's a secret. And save your money. Hang on to it. This is hanging on to. This is all about... Um, about money right this is about maybe concentrating on your money too much but with all the other cards that are here this is kind of telling me that you need to save because it can also mean to save as well right so saving your financial this is about stability right you might be fixated on wealth but i kind of feel like that's not what this is telling me this is telling me be quiet about how much wealth you have and save your money or this is what you're doing right now or you will be okay what's your saturn your discipline your responsibility what are you responsible for or what do you feel you are responsible for <laughs> oh <laughs> Okay, so we have the Prince of Swords. So you might be watching somebody on social media here. You might have broken their heart or maybe they broke yours. But whoever they are, they're single or maybe you are now. Maybe you went through a heartbreak. Maybe you saw something that broke your heart and now you're becoming single because this is my single card, right? You're fruitful, you're on your ninth pentacle. There's only 10 pentacles in tarot, right? For the deck. So this is like, you're almost at your 10, you're at the nine, right? So you're doing well all on your own. You might be watching somebody that broke your heart or you broke their heart. Either way, one of you is single here. Maybe even both. So take a how it resonates for you, okay? This is what you're feeling responsible for. I kind of feel like maybe you felt that you hurt somebody here. I mean, it could be the other way around, but... Oh, yeah. equal. You're looking for that equal give and take here. With the, you might be um, somebody that... I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, you're looking f to work with somebody. I feel like you're looking for cooperation. You don't want somebody fighting against you. You want somebody that's going to work with you. And that equal give and take, right? That working with you, that sharing the wealth, that gratitude, that kindness. The more you give, the more you receive kind of you know what I mean? That balance of give and take or give and receive, however you want to put it. But that's beautiful. What's your Neptune, your imagination? What's going on with your imagination here? Uh oh, okay. So you might be confused or have a lot of options here. Oh, <laughs> for a blessing. Didn't I say that teamwork? You're looking for somebody that would cooperate with you. Well, the Three of Pentacles is all about cooperation. It's like collaborating, team player, wisdom, that kind of sharing 
like cooperation is part of this card and I was really feeling that you want somebody to work with that's going to work with you not against you and you have a blessing and you have a lot of options I don't feel like this is telling me that you're confused I feel more like this isn't an illusion this is choose wisely it could be wishful thinking but it's indecision maybe because you're got all these cups to choose from and nobody knows what's in each cup right so you're looking at them like how which one am i gonna i don't want to choose the wrong one again and at the end of this because this was first you're looking at a cup that is going to co collaborate with you be that cooperating uh, energy that's going to be for what you're doing not against what you're doing or put you down about what you're doing I felt like that might be part of maybe they didn't like your ideas or didn't care about your ideas or didn't show that you they cared enough about you or something like that like just kind of like that whatever kind of I don't want any part of it or you do you or I don't know something along those lines that weren't supportive I guess that's the word I'm looking for is they weren't supportive of whatever you had for your imagination whatever ideas you had I feel like you were really shot down with that and if you're single here I feel like you have a lot of options to choose from when it comes to ideas whatever you're imagining for yourself there's going to be a blessing here with this ace of pentacles here the ace of pentacles is like um a financial career of abundance or like a path an intend an intended pathway like this is what your your path is supposed to be this could be your manifestations coming true here this is usually about resources so if you've if you've manifested some resources here whatever you've manifesting those seeds that you planted here for your luck your luck coming in it's coming to fruition here and it has something you might getting downloads from spirit on an idea an epiphany of some sort of something that's going to make quite a bit of money something along those lines what's your uranus how unique you are what makes you so unique to be you Ooh. hey well you have been through it ten of swords you've been you've been stabbed i like major burdens here okay like this is this is deceit at its finest <laughs> okay this is about disappointments collapsing even painful endings stabbed in the back it could be fear too about maybe going forward towards whatever your person is that you're thinking about just saying so you've been through it and people see you still riding forward here with the knight of wands like this is somebody that is that passionate inspired action courage and adventure maybe even impulsive energy charging ahead even though they were feeling deceived so still passionately moving forward towards whatever you're going for i feel like whatever this was here it was the end all be all to push you into whatever you've been wanting for yourself maybe somebody's been holding you back from what you have been wanting to do or maybe didn't agree with what you wanted to do what's your uniqueness here yeah maybe somebody had you in a competition you didn't even know you were in or it could be that they were holding you back because they felt that person that that long lost love they might have been jealous about them 
and felt they were competition. This person may not have wanted you with this person. They didn't want you to change. They didn't want you to move ahead. They didn't want you to go after this person. I mean, take it how it resonates, but this is kind of what I'm feeling, like conflicting opinion, trying to put whatever projection they had for you onto you. This is too many choices or too many opinions. Maybe a complex, too complex, I'm feeling, a bit of a struggle to please everybody or I kind of feel like you weren't ever thinking about what you wanted. It was about what everybody else was doing or wanted for you or you kind of took people's advice and didn't do you. Hmm. What's your relationships like, your palace here? What's your palace like? Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay, wow. <laughs> Got a bit of a story. Okay. And then I saw this one, and then I saw this one, and this one, and this one. Okay. You might be having sleepless nights about this sweetheart here. The Queen of Cups is the sweetheart. She's emotionally connected, intuitive. She's loving, tender-hearted, very sensitive, just that nurturing, loving, caring kind of person. And then we have judgment. So you may felt, hmm. <laughs> I see what's going on here. You may have been called to see this person or wanting, like you were getting pulled towards this person, but somebody didn't like this idea with the Five of Swords here. This is somebody that I felt was kind of conflicting with you kind of arguments with you, hostility about this idea. Maybe they don't like your past person. This could be a family member. This could be an ex. This could be friends. We don't want you to go with her. We don't like her. Or this is going to change everything in our group or whatever. But look what's here. Ace of Cups. This is a new relationship. This is an emotional awakening. This is love and intimacy. This is a gift or a blessing. So somebody here, now maybe you were talking shit about this sweetheart here. Maybe somebody was trying to change your judgment about this sweetheart. And it caused you a lot of sleepless nights. I feel like spirit or your ancestors are like, dude <laughs> or if you're a woman like hey psst. <laughs> you know I got we want you to go over here you know I feel like that guiding light they wanted you to continue forward with this that's why they were giving you sleepless nights and maybe she was always in your dreams or you were always thinking about her I feel like whatever judgment you made maybe it was influenced by somebody else here that caused you, maybe it was just your ego. <laughs> maybe they said no. Maybe it got you in your ego. Maybe you talk shit about this, sweetheart. But whatever it is, there's a big ass cup of love here. There's supposed to be a new relationship here. Now, whether it's with this person or not, you're going to know one way or another. We'll see what happens. Now, this is in the now, right now. So, this has been happening lately. Or in the last few months, one to five months. What's your fortune and your wealth here? Fortune and your wealth. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Aha. <laughs> okay. We have. Something is a secret or unexpected, like with the moon here. This could be unexpected things to happen here. Could be hidden. This could be, I kind of feel like something's surfacing. Whatever illusion maybe you had about somebody is showing up. 
Or this could be a secret that maybe you're waiting for this person because this Queen of Wands is here. You find this woman very attractive. She's a looker. She's confident. She's got, she's, she's determined. She's self-assured. She doesn't let people push her around. She's kind of got that spunky side to her, that fiery <laughs> demeanor. And she's not going to put up with shit. So I feel like with the page of wands here, this is that acts on chance, that inspired, fresh idea, enthusiastic, positive act of taking a step forward, okay? And with this moon here, I mean, this is about something surfacing. I mean, it could mean fear, it could be feeling insecure, but your self-love here, you're showing up really good. You're not looking insecure. You're looking like you're abundant, wealthy, and you got your game on, right? And I mean, you might be healing. So yeah, you might be purging some, some bullshit that you're having to deal with so you can balance yourself out here. Wow, so your wealth, there's something that's gonna surface and you're gonna take action. It has something to do with some beautiful woman here or somebody that has that energy, that fiery, confident, determined. Now, it could be a masculine coming up as very confident and very determined, kind of fiery, you know, that mysterious kind of ooh la la, <laughs> right? So that swaggy, swaggy, it could be a feminine though, right? So, wow, that's in your wealth, your fortune. Something's going to surface that's going to inspire some action towards being determined, confident in yourself, self-assured and optimistic and puts that fire under your ass. That's what it could mean as well to go after what you want when it comes to wealth or fortune, right? What's your, you know, what's your influence? So take that however that resonates for you. Oh, somebody's influencing you to move forward here. Oh, <laughs> wheel of fortune. <laughs> You might feel really lucky about moving forward towards some type of lucky, oh, lucky in love. Oh, the lovers, what? <laughs> wow, Gemini um, energy with this. This is attraction, this is a divine love. These are all major arcanas. So this influence in your Juno here, this is huge. These are all life-changing cards. These are major, major moments. That fire under your ass to get you to move forward with the chariot, okay? This is about cancer energy, that loyalty. This is about going on a journey of independence, something that's high stakes, some ambitious and victory, okay? And then we have the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> which is that luck, that Jupiter. And if we look at your luck, something's going to surface to get your action moving towards somebody that's fiery and uh, determined and confident, right? Put that into you, maybe. If, if it's not a somebody, it could just be you, getting you to get that confidence and determination getting you to be self-assured about yourself and optimistic about whatever it is. But this has to do with love. <laughs> so this is going to be a choice in love here. This is a divine love. With the twins, with the Gemini, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like this might even be twin flamish here. Wow, look at how beautiful those cards are. I mean, look at that. This is your inspiration. Somebody's inspiring you to move forward. Wow, that's your Juno. I feel like this isn't anybody in particular. I feel like this might be spirit. Like, 
or your ancestors here. Let's get your potential, your Vesta. What's your potential here? What's the potential here? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. Do not try to lie to whoever this is because they are very in tune, okay? They are going to know if you're lying with the Seven of Swords. So don't play the games with this, emperor, or with this high priestess because she will see through you. And if this is you, you're picking up on somebody's energy of deception here, okay? Maybe somebody wants to play a game with you, okay? So either way, if you are the emp or this high priestess, I keep wanting to say empress. So if you are this empress or high priestess, <laughs> oh my god, empress has something to do with this. This emperor, this could be your significant other this empress energy that i that i keep saying but this high priestess she's very intuitive she's going to know if you're lying she's going to see deception she may see you as deceptive or you may see her as deceptive or him as deceptive okay take it however it resonates here but this is the potential that i kind of feel like it might be you picking up on deception this is your potential right so by being maybe in tuned here especially if I'm talking to a feminine I really feel like there's a feminine energy that the empress I keep wanting to say but either way even if you're a masculine you're going to be able to pick up on some type of deception so take it however it resonates and if you are going towards somebody that um, is very, how do you put that, uh, in tune or with spirit and is uh, connected with spirit and gets downloads from spirit, I kind of feel like you are going to know that you can't lie to this person, okay? that they're going to see through you. So lying is out. Don't play games if this is this other person because they they may see you as being the deceptive one, okay? So I'm not sure what's happened between the two of you, but in any case, I still feel like whoever I'm talking to who's getting this message today you are going to be able to pick up on deception here, okay? You're going to know if they're lying. <laughs> Let's put it that way. What's your self know your past life like? Oh, you might have been the life of the party uh, when you were in your last life here. Any other cards for past life? Oh, okay. All right. Wow. Okay. You may have been really uh, celebratory uh, in your past life. You are coming out as the King of Cups. This is like emotionally balanced. You might have been really generous and compassionate. And I feel like tender hearted, like you were very sensitive. But you may have walked, walked away or had people walk away from you. Maybe you're a little tippy tippy with the drinky drinky or... Um, I kind of feel like maybe you were kind of the the center of attention even may have caused people to walk away from you or maybe you were got too much attention there's three people here <laughs> maybe you had third parties um but this is your past life so something may I kind of feeling more like you maybe got a lot of attention you were a lot of um maybe a uh I'm kind of feeling like maybe very outgoing, center of tension kind of feeling here. This is water. This is going to be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And I feel like this is, this may be in your chart, right, Aquarius? So, but this past life, you may have had a lot of options maybe you walked away from others 
Okay, let's look at your midheaven, your career, like right now. Wow, so you're pretty happy about whatever you're doing at this time. And if you aren't, you will be. Now maybe something new you're going to start here. I'm feeling something new. Might have something to do with spirituality because he looks like he's meditating even though he's a deer. He looks like he's meditating. So could be a spirit animal. Let's see. What's your, your career, your midheaven that you're doing right now? Oh, okay. It might have something to do with the past. With the six of clubs. Might have to do with memories or... I'm kind of getting... Um, has something to do with the past. Now this could be... I kind of feel like this might even be like... I'm getting kind of funeral home kind of person people coming together, doing talks. God, I feel like eulogies here, but that's for somebody in particular. What is this mid heaven here? Oh, you may invest in things. I see what this is. You might get signs from spirit about investments. You might be looking at past information to help you see the light for investments of what to put your money into here. This is kind of making more sense to me now. I still get that eulogy here. You might work from home here even. You might be somebody that has to do like a TED talk or about investments or I don't know what that is let's get one more card for this because this has to do with your career your mid heaven can I get one more card for the mid heaven make this make sense please let's clarify a little bit here please spirit can you give me one more card for the mid heaven the mid heaven please Okay, Spirit doesn't want to give me any information. There we go. Wow, the Emperor. Holy hell, this is like mastering all four of the kings here. So you have all these things going for you. The wealth, the smarts, the discipline. Very serious about what you do. You're very visionary. You're ambitious. You're emotionally balanced and you're generous and compassionate. So, wow, whatever something from the past is giving you an idea, maybe, what to invest your money in that's going to make you the emperor. This could be like really well off here. Whatever this is that you're doing. You might be investing your money. This might have something to do with investments here, Aquarius. What's your Lilith? What's your hidden emotions? Ow! <laughs> you might feel like a fool or you feel like you want to take a leap of faith into something new maybe here. With the fool here, that's something that's major too because this is about Uranus. This has to do with how unique you are. You might be very competitive here. And despite all the things you were doing in the past and all the deception you had, you still wanted to move forward in, in your action passionately. Whatever you're passionate about. Can I get one more card for the hidden emotions? Oh, beginnings and endings. <laughs> Why is that here? I keep getting death here. Um, eulogy. What is this? Beginnings and endings with the full new beginning. All paths are open. Leap of faith. And then the right path. Celebration and success and completion. 
It looks like all four seasons. Uh, so maybe this is something you took a leap of faith. Maybe you've only been doing this for about a year. And you're already the emperor. Or you're going to be. Like this might take a little bit. Maybe in the past you weren't doing so well in your career. I kind of feel like you're much happier. Whatever you're investing in now. It's going to make you money. Um, I'm kind of feeling like new beginning and ending something that's like ending something to get that new beginning and you've been on this path for about a year or I'm not sure what that is it's, your, it's whatever you're thinking about it could be about a new beginning with somebody but you have to end something first Okay, let's move on. What's your Amun, uh, Amunje Koli here? This is your ancestors, your passed on loved ones, your family, the roots. Okay, so there's many generations before you. This is their message to you. Oh, manifest what you want in your life right now so that it comes in. You've planted some seeds here. Keep going. I feel like this is their saying... Um, something along those lines that keep either writing down or saying out loud what you're looking for, what you want to manifest. This is how you think. You've kind of mastered all the elements here to manifest. So it's about looking within to what your heart truly desires it's all about love right love is the highest frequency there is oh wow you might be very serious about manifesting as well but the king of swords this is about discipline integrity this is a reason to um i feel like pursue something like this is this is being smart about something here and manifesting so like with manifesting you want to be careful what you're wishing for because if you want celebrity status you have the good and the bad with it right so and the ugly I'm sure but in any case having that celebrity status is going to come with certain things that aren't going to be so great about it so yeah you're well known everybody knows who you are by name you're being famous but on the other hand you're giving up your privacy you're giving up certain aspects you might get more wealth but you're paying out more for people to protect you now so no weirdos come into your life or or you're having to spend more money because now you have a certain status you got to uphold you know so you're you're getting more but you're also paying for more and there's things you're gonna have to give up with that and it's like if you're somebody that really enjoys having your alone time you know what I mean like there's things that offset it too right so be careful what you wish for right mmm and walking away from something here six of swords so i kind of feel like this might this might be more of an emotional journey that you're having to do there's something about calmer waters you might have to go somewhere to manifest this. Maybe you're with somebody right now. You don't get a lot of privacy from this person to manifest what you want or... I don't know. What is this Six of Swords? This could be... You could be escaping doing this. I don't feel like that. This is an emotional journey here that you're on. Huh. This is your ancestors saying to walk away from something here. 
you're going to know what this is, okay? This is your spirit. This is about being serious about walking away from something. Because you're manifesting something maybe new in your life, but you can't go forward without truth and walking away from something here. That, that could be why I'm a little confused here <laughs> about this beginning and ending here. I see what this is saying here now. <laughs> Maybe you haven't ended something out with somebody. You want to make sure that they're going to accept you before you give up something. Whatever you've settled on. So if they don't take you back, then you have nothing, you're not out anything. You still have this person. But Spirit's saying here, if you go ahead with this new beginning without ending this out first, your beginning will end. And I feel like that's about this deception here and this don't try to play any games. If you're going to go forward with this person, Aquarius, who you are wanting to long last love here, okay? This great love. You're going to have to manifest what you want, but you're going to have to tell the truth and you're going to have to walk away from somebody before you get this new beginning. Otherwise, this new beginning is going to end because there's, there's no truth behind it, okay? Let's look at your current life, your north node. What's your north node like right now? What's your north node right now, Aquarius? Wow. Looks like marriage with the Hierophants. <laughs> Could be spirituality too. Traditions, values. I feel like you're both on the same page here, whatever this is. Oh, <laughs> I said you both are on the same page. The two of cups came out. This could be marriage. I said marriage too. Look at that. Two of cups and the hierophant. This is a love of a lifetime here. There's a marriage. There's a lot of love here. But like I said, if for this to show up here, you're going to have to be manifesting. Sure, you can manifest all you want. But without telling the truth and walking away, and dealing with who you have, dealing with the consequences, this will not happen if you try to begin something new when before you've ended something out. Otherwise, this is this beautiful love here, this marriage is gonna start and end. It's not going to go anywhere. So let's look at your transformation, your Pluto. Okay, what has transformed for you? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Look at that, the Empress. Oh my God. <laughs> we have you showing up <laughs> in your hidden emotions as the Emperor here. Okay, or no, this was your career, your Juno, your Vesta your south node, your career, uh, you have in your career showing up as the emperor. So your empress, you might have mastered both sides of your light and dark side, or this, you've transformed for your empress. This is the love here. This could be a twin flame here. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> And this is going to happen in the next three months. I feel like this is going not to be very long indeed. That things are changing for you. If they haven't yet, they will be in the next, between now and the next three months. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my God. And because there's so much love here, I'm going to do... For your relationship, your Venus, your love. Tell me about the love 
for Aquarius. Can I get two cards for the love for Aquarius here? Tell me what I need to know here. Release your eggs! <laughs> I can't make it up! Look at it! Release your eggs. <laughs> that you have to do before you go forward to the new person if you come in wrong everything's gonna fall apart on you and love yourself first yes you're healing so within these next like three to five months i feel like this is gonna come in by august ish somewhere in there what's on the bottom of the deck ah! <laughs> Than I thought it would, but dang, this is wonderful for you. Aquarius, I really hope somebody here is resonating with this because it's so beautiful. There's so many messages here for you. I hope it helps somebody. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> And if you are supporting the channel by watching, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate you. If you want to donate to the channel, I have a PayPal account down below in the description box. And I appreciate all the donations. It goes right back into the business to buy new cards and new things for me to share and talk about here for the readings. So... <laughs> I wish you all the luck here, and I'm sending you so much love. All right, guys, stay blessed. We'll see you next time. Okay, later.